Those, but, are those background principles, uh, constitutional principles? In other words, if Congress says shall mean shall, and we really mean shall mean shall, uh, is that unconstitutional? So not in each and every case. Is it, I, is I, it, I ever, that, is it ever unconstitutional? In other words, does the president have an Article II ability to say, uh, I possess enforcement discretion under the Constitution and any attempt by Congress to restrict that enforcement discretion by saying shall mean shall would itself violate Article II. You gesture at Article II briefly in your brief, but you don't really uh, unpack it very much. I'm curious what your answer is to whether that could be unconstitutional. So I think that yes, there could be certain circumstances where Congress has engaged in a really intrusive effort to command the executive to take particular enforcement actions, to prosecute individuals in a particular way, where we would say that that does transgress Article II limits, does this but we're one, not- does this one transgress Article 2, this statute, if, if the Chief Justice posits shall mean shall. I don't see an argument in your brief that if the statute is read uh, to mean what it says, shall mean shall, that, that the statute would be unconstitutional. But I just want to make sure I'm reading your brief correctly. I didn't see an argument that that would be unconstitutional. That's right. We haven't argued that the statute would be unconstitutional. And we accept that Congress in various provisions of the INA has created mandatory duties. General.